Welcome to Shift by Bacardi. Oh, quarantine bedhead. Sick. Good morning. Welcome to my tiny home. I'm Marta S. I'm a bartender slash bar mom at Le Phoenix, aka Restaurant Chanticleer, here in the Parkdale neighborhood in beautiful Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Obviously, I can't be behind a bar the way that I'm used to. I can't prep my cocktails the way that I'm used to. But I can still make cocktails at home, which is something that I have been doing because, while well, it's part of what I do, I'm gonna take you along on a day in my life in quarantine. My quarantine routine. First thing I like to do when I wake up is chug a ton of water. So the next thing I do usually is check the weather. What? I'll brush my teeth, wash my face, make myself look semi-presentable. I'll apply my protective facial gear. Okay, mask is on, headphones are in, and then I will go and take my government sanctioned walk. So we're back from our walk invigorated. Weather is decidedly gloomy today, but what else is new? Um, now it's time for arguably my favorite part of every day. Pre-quarantine, during quarantine, and post-quarantine, and I guarantee you I will keep up this tradition. Breakfast. But now it's time for the daily workout. So at this point in the day, post-workout, post any kind of like meeting or phone call or anything that I might have to do, now I can actually go and take a shower. And then when we're done with that, I'm going to start prepping to make an original cocktail. Um, a lot of my thought process when it comes to creating cocktails from scratch during quarantine is how can I use the things that I already have in my home? How can I keep food waste from happening? That's a huge thing, especially because now going to the grocery store is a lot more difficult than it ever was before. So I'm gonna try and knock out some kind of a grapefruit syrup using that and then I have something in mind, a little cocktail that uh, we'll make together. So I'm going to use the grapefruit syrup that I prepped uh, kind of over the course of the week. So using that pink grapefruit that I eat every morning, I would pre-cut it into segments and soak it in a one-to-one -one simple syrup. So just equal parts, basic white granulated sugar, hot water, simmer that down into a syrup. I would put the grapefruit segments into that and then over the week they just kind of marinated in there. And what happened was that simple syrup kind of got infused with this beautiful, subtle grapefruit flavor. Strained out all the pulp, took that syrup, put it back on the stove, let it simmer down a little bit more, added just like four or five swaths of fresh grapefruit peel, being really careful not to put any of the pith, the white part, into the pot because that would impart a little too much bitterness and I'm trying to avoid that with this, but it turned this beautiful color and I'm super happy with it. So yeah, pretty easy to prep, I think, all things considered. So the star of our cocktail today is going to be the new Martini Fiero. So this stuff is so, so good. It's the newest aperitivo from Martini, new in Canada anyway, uh, and it's made using Spanish orange peel. The concentration of flavor in this is like stupid. It's just, it's so good. It's dumb, it's so good. Um, so this cocktail is a bit of a Americano highball, Martini Fiero spritz hybrid situation. Something that you would really want to drink on a patio. I don't know if this drink is gonna make today easier or more difficult. 
but I named this drink something to look forward to because just keep thinking about it that way. We've got something, so much to look forward to. Okay, let's start. So we're going to begin with three quarters of an ounce of this grapefruit syrup. Honestly, if you don't have a cocktail shaker of any kind in your home, <clears throat> if you don't have a cocktail shaker at home, just start with a mason jar. Use the flat lid as a strainer to keep the ice out of your drink. That is how I started making cocktails at home, mainly because I couldn't afford a cocktail kit back then, but it works, believe me. Next, we're going to add a half an ounce of the Martini Rosso Sweet Italian Vermouth. We're gonna to top it off with the new Martini Fiero. Add an ounce of that. This feels so weird and so good to be doing this. <laughs> okay, we're gonna add ice. I have square cube silicone ice trays. Highly recommend them. They're not clear, obviously, but they do the job. Okay. I've missed doing this so much. Full of ice. Look at the color on that. Oh man. And then because it is a spritz, we will be topping it off with Martini Prosecco. I like to go for the drier Prosecco as opposed to the sweeter Asti here, just because I find that there's enough sweetness coming from the Rosso and the grapefruit syrup. Cheers, friends. <laughs> 